guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 10 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Subtract. You may use a place value chart. Alright, so A, we have 9 tenths minus 3 tenths. 9 minus 3 is 6. So our answer is 6 tenths. And B, 9 ones, 2 thousandths. Um, that's 9.002 minus 3. Three ones. So we're just subtracting three ones. So nine minus three is three. So then our answer is three ones and then two thousandths. All right, and C, we have four hundreds, six hundredths. So that's 4.06 minus three hundredths. So then our four hundreds stay the same and six minus three is three. So we have four hundreds, three hundredths. And D, 56 thousandths minus 23 thousandths. 56 minus 23 is 33. So then our answer, 33 thousandths, will be written as 0 0.033. And this answer has 3 hundredths and 3 thousandths. All right, and number two, solve using the standard algorithm. We have 1.8 minus 0 0.9 8 minus 9 borrow 10 t minus 9 is 9 and 0 stays 0 and move the decimal down so our answer would be 0 0.9 and b we have 41.84 minus 0 0.9 so 4 minus 0 is 4 8 minus 9 borrow 10 18 minus 9 is 9 0 minus 0 is 0, and 4 just stays 4. And take the decimal place down. So our answer is 40.94. Alright, and C, we have 341.84 minus 21.92. 4 minus 2 is 2. 8 minus 9, borrow 10. 18 minus 9 is 9. 0 minus 1, borrow another 10. 10 minus 1 is 9, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 3 is 3. So our answer is 300. Also, don't forget to take the decimal point down. Our answer is 319.92. Alright, and D, we have 5.182 minus 0 0.009. Oh, did I say 09? Minus 0 0.09. Here we go, zero. 2 minus 0 is 2, 8 minus 9, borrow 10, 18 minus 9 is 9, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 5 minus 0 is 5. And bring this whole place, place down, so our answer is 5.092. Alright, and E, we have 50.416 minus 4.25. 6 minus 0 is 6, 1 minus 5, borrow 10, 11 minus 5 is 6, 3 minus 2 is 1, 0 minus 4, borrow 10, 10 minus 4 is 6, and 4 just stays 4. And move the decimal place down, so our answer is 46.166. Alright, and F, 741 3.91. 0 minus 1, let's borrow 10. This becomes 9 and 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Um, 10 minus 3 is 7. 3 just says 3 and 7 just says 7. So our answer, move the decimal place down. Our answer is 737.09. Alright, next page. Solve. Alright, so 30 tens is 30. And we're doing minus 3 tens. Wait, did I say 30? No, 30 tens is 300. Minus 3 tens, that's 30. And 3 tenths, 0.3. Alright, so 0 minus 3, borrow 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 2 stays here. So then our answer, move the decimal place down, 
is 269.7. All right, and B, we have five, that's five, minus 16 tenths is 1.6. So zero minus six, borrow 10. 10 minus six is four, and four minus one is three. We move the decimal place down, our answer is 3.4. All right, and C, we have 24 tenths, that's 2.4, minus 1, 1, that's just 1, and 3 tenths, 1.3. 4 minus 3 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, move the decimal place down, so our answer is 1.1. All right, and D, we have 6, 1, 7 hundredths. 6, 1 is 6. 700 is 6.00, 6.07 actually. And then we're just minus 2.3. 7 minus 0 is 7, 0 minus 3, borrow 10. 10 minus 3 is 7, 5 minus 2 is 3. Move the decimal place down, our answer is 3.77. All right, and E, we have 8.246 minus 500, so that's 0 0.05. 6 minus 0 is 6. 4 minus 5, borrow 10. 14 minus 5 is 9. 1 minus 0 is 1. 8 minus 0 is 0. And move the decimal place down. Our answer is 8.196. All right, F, 5 1 is 3 tenths. That's 5.3 minus 0 0.53. 0 minus 3, borrow 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. And then 2 minus 5, let's borrow 10. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 4 stays 4. Move the decimal place down, and our answer is 4.77. All right, number four, Mr. House wrote 8 tenths minus 5 hundredths on the board. Maggie said the answer is 3 hundredths because 8 minus 5 is 3. Is she correct? Explain. All right, so let's do the actual problem. 8 tenths is 0.8 minus... 0 0.8 minus 5 hundredths. That's 0 0.05. So let's see. 0 minus 5, let's borrow 10. 7 minus 7, that's 7. 10 minus 5 is 5. And 7 just say 7, and this is 0. Bring the decimal place down, so our answer is 0 0.75. So then, no, Maggie is not correct and her mistake because eight minus five is three so she probably accidentally misplaced her digits she like misplaced her digits so she probably wrote like five tenths instead all right and um, or she probably like eight hundredths minus five hundredths, that's three hundredths, but yeah. Number five, a clipboard costs $2.23. Um, it costs 58 cents more than a notebook. Lisa bought two clipboards and one notebook. She paid with a $10 bill. How much change does, she, how much change does Lisa get? Use a tape diagram to show your thinking. All right, so C for clipboard. A clipboard costs... Two dollars. That's two point two three, and it co it costs fifty eight cents more than a notebook. So a notebook is fifty eight cents less. So then this much would be a notebook. I'm trying to figure out how much a notebook is, but then we know it's fifty eight cents less. So first, find out how a notebook how much a notebook costs. Let's do two point two three minus. 0 0.58 so 3 minus 8 borrow 10 13 minus 8 is 5 and 1 minus 5 becomes 11 minus 5 which is 6 and 1 stays 1 so bring the decimal place down so a notebook costs one dollar 65 cents so now she bought she bought two clipboards has 2.23 plus 2.23 and she bought one notebook plus 1.65 Add all together, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Move the decimal place down, 
So $6.11. But then we're not done yet. It says she paid with a $10 bill and how much change does she get? So in $10 bill, that's 10 minus 6.11. 0 minus 1, power 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 0 is 0. So bring the place, bring this little point down. So our answer is 3.89. So I mean, Lisa gets $3.89 of change. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.